This week we arrive once again at the beginning of the narrative of the Ten Plagues. Seven in this week's Torah portion, three in the Torah portion that is going to come next week. We're perhaps most familiar with the Ten Plagues from the narrative of the Passover Seder, when we're told about them relatively quickly. But in fact, those Ten Plagues, if we look at how they fit in the Torah, happened over the course of about a year, and were a wave of cumulative misery for not only the Egyptians, and not only even Pharaoh, but also, at least in terms of the first three of them, for the Israelites as well. Who apparently were included. It's also interesting to look at when and how the plagues are taken away. We think we know. We think that Pharaoh says no, Moses brings a plague, Pharaoh changes his mind, Moses takes the plague away. But in fact, if we look at the narrative, that isn't the case. Only three of the plagues are removed number four, which is the plague of insects, number seven, which is the plague of hail, and number eight, which is the locusts blown away by a strong west wind. It appears that all the rest of them stay. So this year, when we read the narrative, we might want to imagine what it was like. First the water turning to blood, then the dead frogs piling up in the streets while the water still wasn't right then the lice, then the insects which do get taken away, then the cattle, and so on and so on and so on, waves and waves of misery. They're a challenging narrative, but alas, like many other things, they look worse when we're grown-ups than they did when we were children, and they're a lot less simple. That was your Torah in two.